worship and worry cannot coexist. They cannot be in the same room together. When you worship, what you recognize is the sovereignty of God, that God is in control and you are not. So when you put yourself in an environment of worship, it will automatically begin to drive out worry. This is not celebrating naively whatever tragedy or bad news you're dealing with. It's in the face of that, taking some time out, putting yourself square in an environment where you can proclaim the sovereignty of God. That's one of the reasons the local church exists. At least once a week to allow people to gather and sing very profound songs about how we fight our battles. That's worship. That's proclaiming the sovereignty of God. And so I want to encourage you when you're worried to begin to replace it by worship. Find an opportunity. Sit down with the scriptures. Call people in your small group. Come to church. We have multiple services throughout the week. At least show up on Sunday. Find an opportunity to worship. It's the first thing that Paul did. He's talking about don't be anxious in what? Anything. Here's how it starts. You commit to worship. We recognize that God is in control, not us.